We got to get to this story that's going to candidly be a little bit of a mind blow when, <laughs> yeah. you, when you soak this all in. Uh, history has been made at the Fort Worth Zoo. The zoo says a baby gorilla was born via C section, and that happened last month. Okay, that sounds pretty normal, but listen to this part. The surgery was performed by a doctor who typically operates on humans. Madison Sawyer spoke with that doctor who performed the surgery. It is a story you will only see here, but you should know this was not their first time meeting. Dr. Jamie Walker Irwin, a local OBGYN, has been helping the zoo with complicated situations. And in January, zookeepers told Dr. Irwin their pregnant gorilla named Sakani was displaying some unusual behaviors, like holding her head, and they suspected that she might have headaches, which is a sign of preeclampsia, a potentially fatal pregnancy complication for mom and baby. Testing confirmed that diagnosis, and Dr. Irwin started making calls to assemble a team. I said, are you busy on Friday afternoon? He's like, well, let me check my schedule. Why? What do you have? And I said, well, you're not going to believe this, but we need to go to the zoo and do a C-section on a gorilla. And by the way, you can't tell anyone this is top secret. Nobody can know. Much like patient physician privacy, think primate physician privacy. Dr. Irwin assembled her dream team in secret, including a surgical assistant, anesthesiologist, and neonatologist. Because the zoo needed a seasoned team to handle this delicate surgery, one that had handled hundreds of C-sections together over the years, including mine. When I looked at that press release and I saw your name, I thought, of course. Of course you would be the OB that they would choose to deliver a baby gorilla because I knew in my care that I could trust you. And then to do this for a gorilla, what was that like? Things I won't forget is when they shaved her abdomen and she's got this really thick fur. But despite the fur, so much of the surgery was the same, including the human touch. You know, the incision was made exactly the same place exactly the same size. The only thing was different was her skin. Her skin felt like cutting into leather, but then after that, it was almost like autopilot. Even the care the premature baby gorilla received immediately upon birth was the same. They started, you know, doing normal resuscitation just like you would do on a human baby. Getting her warm was important and getting her breathing was important and having her her eat soon. There's some photos where she has the nasal cannula and she's getting supplemental oxygen just to help her open up her lungs. The team had delivered life into the world thousands of times before, but they still did not know exactly what to expect this time. And I thought, what's she gonna look? What's this gonna look like? We didn't know if it was boy or girl. We didn't know. And 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 you know, and she just she just came out and she was just the absolute cutest thing. Just little furrier than usual than what I'm used to. Yeah, it's like, look at this. We, we just did this. Dr. Irwin's specialty of women now crossing over into a new species. Our love for women, it knows no bounds. It's a calling and, and I love that I was able to use my gifts for another mom that was in trouble. The zoo believes Dr. Irwin likely saved Sakani's life and the baby gorilla's life who now has a special name. I can tell you, we're naming her Jamila. And in Swahili, it means beautiful. But also, Jamila is kind of like Jamie. So we're naming the baby Jamila for Jamie because of her assistance and her immediate response to our need. That's really touching. Thank you so much. I can't wait to go visit her and to see her and for my kids to, to come see her. I love that I'm connected to this baby girl gorilla, Jamila, forever. Madison Sawyer reporting tonight. They are so magically just like us, mm. right? Crazy. I told you, promised you a mind blow, right, when you <laughs> saw the story. Despite several attempts to reunite baby and mother, by the way, Sakani, Sakani didn't show a lot of interest in caring for Jamila. The zookeepers think it's probably because Sakani didn't experience the flood of hormones that come with and are associated with a full term pregnancy and natural childbirth. Uh, in this case, gorilla birth, but both are doing great, and a team of more than 40 zoo employees is now focused on using another female gorilla. They'll do that as a surrogate mother for Jamila. 
Jamila, by the way, has already doubled in weight since birth, so all is going awesome.